Hello and welcome to this answer explanation video. This video will take you through the answers to the subtraction crossing 10 worksheet and we'll talk you through some of the tricky bits. In this video, I will take you through the answers to the subtraction crossing 10 worksheet. Susie won 20 tokens at the fair. She chooses three prizes with her tokens and has less than 10 tokens left. Investigate three different combinations of prizes that Susie may have chosen. An example is shown below. So we've got the price list, we've got the balloon, which is five tokens, glasses, six, lollipop, four, ball, five, teddy, seven, and cupcake, three. Now, she always gets less than 10 tokens at the end. Less than 10. That's how many she's going to have left over which means that at the end, she's either going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine tokens left over. For her to always have less than 10 tokens, that means that the total of three of these items needs to add up to a total more than 10, because we know that 20 take away 10 equals 10. The second part has to be more than 10, to take her remaining amount of tokens to be less than 10. This means that her three items need to total either 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 or 19 tokens. So let's start thinking about making some of those numbers. We've got the prices and we need to add three of those items together. Well, I can see by looking at these numbers that I've got some bonds to 10, which might be a good place to start. On the example, they've done the same. They've done a bond to 10. They've picked the balloon and the ball, five and five, which is a bond to 10. And then they've added one other item, the cupcake, which is three. 10 and three is 13. And then they've used that. They've taken away their 13 from 20, her tokens, and that left her with seven tokens, which is less than 10. So those are three items that work. Now, they use their bond to 10 as a starting point, so we're going to do the same. So, can I see any other bonds to 10 up here? I can see 6 and 4. Now, that's a bond to 10, isn't it? So, it would be the glasses and the lollipop. Because I know that 6 and 4 will make 10. Now, I can pick one other item. It can be any one. I'm going to pick the teddy. And that will be seven. So I've got six, four, and seven. Now I know that six and four is 10, and adding seven more is 17. She chose the glasses, the lollipop, and the teddy, and altogether that's going to cost her 17 tokens, which means my subtraction is going to be 20, take away 17. Now you could work this out in lots of different ways, to work it out, I'm going to draw dots. I'm going to draw 20 dots and cross out 17. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And I'm going to take away 17 of those. That leaves her with three, three tokens left. Now remember, the amount of tokens she needs to have at the end has to be less than 10, and three is less than 10. So that is one way of working it out. Let's do another. Can I see any other number bonds here? Oh, I can see the teddy and the cupcake. That's seven and three. So if I write teddy and cupcake, that's seven add three, which is a bond to 10. Now for one other item, it can be any. I'm going to do the balloon which would be five. Seven and three is 10, and then 10 add five would be 15. If she chose the teddy, the cupcake and the balloon, she would need 15 tokens to pay. Now remember, she has 20 altogether. So our subtraction would be 20, take away the 15 tokens she is spending. Now again, you can work this out any way you want, but I'm going to draw my dots, my 20 dots. And I'm going to take away 15 of them.
that leaves me with five, which means she will have five tokens left. And that is another number that is less than 10. So there's lots of possible answers to this question. So you can find lots of different combinations. Remember, the total of your three items should always be more than 10. And that will always give you an answer, the amount of tokens left over, which will be less than 10. That was the answer explanation video for subtraction crossing 10. If you want to watch a video tutorial linked to this skill, visit kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk. For more resources linked to this learning, visit classroomsecrets.co.uk.